This has been one of the most successful years in NGLCC history, and we're excited to be with you here today to celebrate those achievements. Since 2002, the National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce has been expanding economic opportunities for LGBT-owned businesses. I run Jennifer Brown Consulting. In the four years that we've been a certified business with the NGLCC, we have seen an incredible growth as a company, both in terms of visibility and in terms of revenue for JVC. And 2010 was a banner year for the Chamber. There are three significant milestones that I think you'll all be very proud about. Uh, passage of the Small Business Jobs Act, the number one legislative priority of the Chamber, and the number one issue to help small businesses get back on track. This year we were also proud to take a group of U.S.-based LGBT business owners down to South America for the first ever LGBT trade mission. We were invited to Casa Rosada to be with President Fernandez de Kirchner when she signed uh, the Argentina Marriage Equality Bill. And then she had a private audience with us, eight of us that were down there, uh, to talk about trade between our two nations, encouraging business development uh, between the United States and Argentina. This has been a tremendous year for growth. We'd planned on reaching the 100 corporate partner mark by the end of the first quarter. We actually reached it by the end of January. We're 29,000 members across the nation. We have 61 affiliate chambers around the world. 47 of those are based here in the United States. But it's really something that's grown exponentially over the last few years. The NGLCC's growth hasn't gone unnoticed. It was just about 18 months ago when Chance and I were invited to the White House, the first organization, the first LGBT organization invited to meet with President Obama. And the issue wasn't LGBT equality, it was economic stabilization. I'm the president and CEO of The Mix, and we're a strategic marketing and branding firm. Being a member of NGLCC has opened the door to many opportunities that I normally would not have had. This weekend's events don't celebrate just these achievements, but make plans for our Chamber's future. I believe uh, that this conference is like no other. It brings together uh, representatives of our 61 affiliate chambers from around the country, across the globe. Uh, it brings together uh, over 120 representatives from uh, Fortune 500 companies, and it brings together the Ma and Ma and Pa and Pa shops uh, that make the NGLCC what it is today. So prepare to make 2011 the biggest year in NGLCC history.